Welcome back guys. Uh, today, uh, the next in my series of Windows alternatives is my absolute favorite Debian distribution MX15. Now I'm going to go through the install. It is a little bit different. I'm going to go through the install step by step within VirtualBox. So I booted up from the MX15 uh, USB drive and now I'm going to boot MX-15. Now as I mentioned MX-15 is my favorite all-time Debian Linux distribution. It's absolutely fantastic. I cannot say enough good things about it. It's got a great community. Lots of helpful videos online. It's really really terrific. Now as you can see it uh, opens up to a welcome screen. Looks like my uh, Resolution is a little bit off. I'm going to adjust that in the settings. MX15 does use the XFCE desktop. Everything is easily adjustable. Let's go with my standard. Okay, so this is the screen that you boot up to when you boot from the USB. As you can see it's got a very nice welcome screen. One thing about MX15 they add a lot of proprietary um, utilities to the distribution making it totally different than any other Debian install. So uh, I'll let you explore that. I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, I would once I go through the installation with you um, I, if I were you guys and you want to try a Debian distribution, I would go to the website, download it, and have some fun. So I'm going to close out the welcome screen, and I'm going to right-click the installer, execute. It's going to bring up the install menu. Okay, so now this is the first step of the install process gives you a little background. It's an independent Linux distribution based on Debian Stable. Uh, MX Linux uses some components from Mepis Linux which are released under an Apache free license. Some Mepis components have been modified. So we're going to click Next. The next thing we're going to do, you're going to check, you're going to uh, pick your location, your install location. In my case I only have the uh, the virtual box drive and that's where I'm going to install to but you would pick the petition or the drive that you would want to install to and uh, then you'll come down and I'm gonna use the auto install um, but if you are picking a particular petition you'll have that option on this screen so I'll click next okay to format yes Now it's going to go through the it's a little bit different than than a lot of installations in that it installs and then it asks you for a lot of the information that normally you're asked for up front but I'll show you that in a minute and it's copying the system to the hard drive at this point in time or actually to my virtual drive and one thing about MX15 it installs extremely quickly. It does not take long at all. Uh, and so I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to allow it to go through the installation process. As you can see, it is super fast. And this is uh, about how fast it would be with your system also. Now, as I mentioned, uh, MX15 has a lot of proprietary utilities that I will uh, I'll briefly go over some of them uh, once we finish the install. So we're just about done and then we're gonna uh, you, you're gonna be asked for some personal information uh, usernames things like that nothing out of the ordinary yeah, and again with uh, Ubuntu installations you're usually you're asked that up uh, asked about your usernames up front with uh, MX15 that comes at the tail end. Now I'm going to install Grub on my uh, 8 gigabyte 
VirtualBox hard disk. One of the nice things is you have the option not to install Grub. So if you're installing uh, alongside another Linux distribution, you can uncheck that. And then what you would do is finish the install and then boot into your other distribution and do a, a, up, a update grub and then once you reboot it'll reflect your MX15 also on your grub screen so it's nice that it gives you the option to install grub or not to install grub I'm gonna click on next okay to install grub bootloader yes it won't take long because uh, it's installing to the virtual drive there's really no not much of an analysis going on so computer name MX and I'm gonna add 15 and then you don't really need a domain uh, and you can elect whether to uh, use Samba uh, server for Microsoft networking you can uncheck that if you like keyboard is correct my locale is correct my t uh, my time format is correct my time zone is correct all of these uh, are usually picked up nicely by MX15 let's cl let's go to next now we're gonna pick a default user login name so I'm gonna go with Len set up a password and set up a root password And you have the option to show passwords, auto login, and save live desktop changes. I'm just going to select auto login and click next. Now it'll finish up the install fairly quickly and then we will reboot into our desktop. So now we are done. That's how fast it is. It is very fast uh, compared to a lot of other Linux installations. We're going to click finish and I'm going to select yes for rebooting. Now it's going to reboot and press enter to continue and there's the grub screen with my MX15 Linux right at the top. So now it's going to boot into my uh, desktop for the first time now as I mentioned MX15 uses the uh, XFCE desktop environment now one of the nice things and of course these are all subjective but the panel is on the left the left side I'm gonna close this window out the panels on the left side you can move that there is a, a utility to move that to the bottom or the top first thing I'm going to do is get my resolution set up very quickly and let's do the 1280 by 1024 okay so as you can see the panel is on the left hand side but if you want to change that well first of all as I mentioned it uses the MX of the XFCE desktop environment now you can modify this and I'm gonna and I've, I've shown you this before but I'm gonna move the categories just because I'm more comfortable with them on the left hand side and that should do it okay so now if you wanna move that panel you've got MX tools and see the panel orientation now as you can see in MX tools there are so many options here for configuration uh, you can go through those uh, at your leisure when you uh, boot up but there's lots to be done here you can install codecs you can identify your default sound card it'll take care of your Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers and as I said panel orientation you can display the default panel horizontally or leave it alone so let's see what it looks like at the bottom and as you can see 
it looks very nice on the bottom no problems at all you've you've still got all of your options available you've still got your XFCE menu now it did switch to the default right side I'm gonna change that again it's very easy to do uh, but again you would be able to go through all of this once you do the install and it is an extremely nice system I'm only scratching the surface I mean you can save your system to an ISO which I have done and I have a an ISO um, that I created after I tweaked it and I had everything the way I wanted after I installed all the packages that I wanted I created a snapshot my uh, my uh, my own personal ISO and I have that on my backup in case anything happens to my install or if I want to install it on another machine I can do that so guys that is the MX15 Debian install step by step it's one of the easiest that you'll find and I give this distribution my wholehearted recommendation it is the best Debian distribution by far that I have used so guys thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care